And now we're going the opposite direction from Midtown Atlanta, where our WSB studios are. We're heading up 400 north to a place called Cumming, Georgia. It is Forsyth County, Georgia. And I got invited to speak at Forsyth County. I was listening to the history and the lady who was inviting me to come to Forsyth County told me about this organization, the African American Descendants of Forsyth County Scholarships. And I had to have them on, especially for Black History Month. So one of the co-founders has taken time out of his schedule to join us on this Saturday evening. He is Durwood Sneed. He is here with us. And we are actually going to break down why I am in love with this scholarship and what they are doing. Mr. Sneed, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me, Malika. Let's break it down. Tell us first the history of Forsyth County, Georgia coming. Well, we have a pretty dark racial history. And uh, a lot of events in 1912 culminated in almost all the black population of the county being driven out of the county. So an 18-year-old white girl named Mae Crow was raped and brutalized. And um, she lived for about two weeks and then actually succumbed to her injuries, which is very sad. But there were several black people that were arrested for the crime. Uh, Two black boys, one who was 16, one who was 17 years old, were both uh, convicted and then publicly hung. But the real tragedy beyond that was that night Riders then went around to every black home in the county, threatening to kill people, blowing some homes up, shooting in homes, and then told people if you did not leave immediately, you would be killed. So there were almost 1,100 black people in the county at that point, scattered all over the county, living in communities everywhere. And within 60 days, virtually every one of those people was gone. They left uh, for fear of their life. So, you know, it's a really tough thing. But I remember I just learned the true story of this. I've lived in Forsyth County now for almost 35 years. But I really didn't learn this story until about five years ago. And as I read about these people leaving, I imagine being a black man, having to leave, not being able to protect my family, having to go somewhere where I didn't know where I was going to go for no reason of anything that I'd done. I literally wept. And just began thinking about what that must have been like and how terrible it was. We're talking to a Mr. Derwood Sneed. He is one of the co-founders of the African-American Descendants of Forsyth County Scholarship. There are people who say... There are white people who have, and pardon the expression, they have white guilt. I guess they feel, oh, poor black people. Oh, For you, it didn't even have anything to do with race or color. It was just the fact that a family had to up and leave, did nothing wrong, and it was something that you just connected with as probably a family man yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm actually I'm a retired pastor. Ah. And, um, you know, when I just start thinking about love, and what that all means, and thinking about this being the opposite of that, um, I just felt like we needed to do something. So I got together with a number of other pastors here in the county. We began talking and praying and thinking, and we felt like, number one, we needed to do something simply to acknowledge what happened. Hold that thought, former Pastor Sneed. Hang on. I'm going to do a cliffhanger sure. because we're going to run to yeah. a break real quick. And everybody okay. who was listening to hear what Mr. Sneed was going to say, you've got to wait until we come back from the break and then we'll get into that. So we know you got together with some pastors up there and we're going to talk about that on the other side of the break. You are listening to Milani Kai. It is 944 on a Saturday evening. You're listening to Milani Kai live on 95.5 WSB. We're in the middle of a conversation with former Pastor Derwood Sneed. We're talking about in 1912, white women was killed in his county, Forsyth, Georgia. Uh, There were about 1,100 black people living there. They had to get up. They had to leave. And we've seen this play out in, or we've heard about this playing out in other parts of America as well. But what I like about this story coming out of coming 
Richmond, Georgia, is a group of people decided to get together and do something. And I think when we when we talk when we're in Black History Month and we talk about all the bad of the past, we've got to talk about this organization and we've got to make it a habit of trying to find stories like this and groups like this, the African American descendants of Forsyth County Scholarship. So, uh, Mr. Sneed is with us. You were telling us uh, you you felt you found out about this. You've been in Forsyth County for over 30 years. You found out about this story and all the African Americans who had to leave. You were moved to tears. You're a former pastor. What did you do? So we got together with a number of other pastors in the county, began thinking, praying, and trying to figure out what can we do to acknowledge what happened, but also to help the descendants of these families that were treated so terribly back in 1912. So we came up with an idea of a college scholarship. So we started this two years ago in uh, 2022 for descendants of those people that were expelled in 1912. So to receive the scholarship, what people have to do is have to prove descendancy. They have to have a 2.5 GPA. They have to have financial need. And they have to write an essay on the journey of their family after expulsion. And then we have a committee of people that goes through those applications. But the scholarships are significant. They're up to $10,000 per year. And they can earn those throughout their undergraduate time of college. That is absolutely amazing. Forsyth County, the the, the website is Forsyth scholarship.org and you can read more about uh, what Derwood uh, Sneed is talking about and so when you decided to do this is, is this a nonprofit? How, where's where's the money coming it from is. to yep, fund completely it? Completely nonprofit, all private donations and so we have currently 11 recipients receiving about $96,000 aggregately this year um, applications just opened up on February 1st for 2024 for the 2024-25 year and they'll close in April. Then we will make a decision in June on who the recipients are this year. And it's all dependent on how much money we raise. But fortunately, each year, we've been able to raise a good amount of money. Um, we've always had more applicants than we have money. Um, and so we would also love anyone that's interested and would love to get on board with this story uh, to donate. Um, we look at this as a redemption story. You know, in 1987, Oprah Winfrey did her first road show in Forsyth County, Georgia. And at that point, she called us the most racist county in America. We hope that very soon Forsyth County, Georgia can be known as one of the most loving and open counties that's welcome to anybody in the nation. And we'd love for that to be something that the world recognizes going forward. So that's what we hope and we pray for. So you are all in my show prep because as I was going to, when you get off the air, I actually was going to talk about the shocking, appalling thing that happened up in Forsyth County when Oprah was up there. And I think, again, I appreciate your organization. I appreciate what you're doing. I think it is so important to show that although the country is may not be where everybody thinks it should be, that there are people like you who aren't African-American, who don't have uh, anything to gain out of this other than righting a wrong and for the love of people. That is what it is all about. So that is appreciated. I do wonder, though, you put this out there. How how are people, how do people, the, the descendants from 1910, how are they proving this? What are they showing? I'm curious. Yeah, so it's all from uh, family records, uh, from Ancestry.com. But we have a genealogist that volunteers her time. And she spent over a 1,000 hours really helping some of the applicants trace back their descendancy here. Um, In many families, the story is there that their family was expelled from here, but they may not necessarily know all the names, you know, going back to the 1910 census which is largely what we're going from. But this genealogist helps them do that. And um, we, we know that if they actually were from here, we can, we can make the connections for them and can help them do that. 
That is amazing. Uh, pastor, former pastor Derwood Sneed, Forsyth County, Georgia. Many of you say, huh, what's that coming, Georgia? If you're not from the area, about 30 miles or so, 400 north from where we are in Midtown. Thank you so much for your organization. If you want to find out more, go to ForsythScholarship.org or you can just put in descendants of Forsyth County, Georgia. You'll find all of that. You can apply if you're listening right now. You can read more about them. You can partner about them. You can read in details the backstory about that situation that played out in 1910 and just really support them. So thank you for what you're doing. And may God continue to bless you and everybody in that community as as it to me, it's like reconciliation. And and we can heal from the past if everybody comes together. Mm, Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Melani Kai. So appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're listening to Melani Kai. 